the Ally NPWT device features four alerts. It's easy to determine the alert condition that must be addressed. When the audible alert sounds, the number of beeps heard is the same as the number flashing on the screen. The guide beside the alert display tells you what the number means. When the number one flashes with a single beep, a low pressure or leak condition exists. You may notice that even before the alert sounds, the pressure light is flashing rapidly and the ally is making more noise. The ally is trying to re-establish target pressure. If it is unable to do so within three minutes, the audible and visual alerts will activate. Leaks often occur over areas of moist skin, creases or folds in skin, and wrinkles in the drape. They can occur if the drape snags on clothing or bed sheets. Remember that several tiny leaks can combine to cause the low pressure or leak alert to be triggered. Once the leak is resolved, the ally alert will immediately reset, becoming quiet, and the pressure light will be solid. If you are unable to find or stop the leak, contact the Cardinal Health Clinical Support Line. When the number two flashes and two beeps are heard, the ally is signaling that either the canister is full or there may be a blockage in the tubing or dressing. Visually address the canister to see if it is full. If the canister is full, change the canister. Changing the canister is easy. First, turn off the ally. Clamp the tubing and remove. Hold the blue twist and connect end of the tubing. Gently twist counterclockwise and pull the tubing up from the canister. Press the canister release button and pull the canister down and out of the ally. To insert a new canister, Line up the two ports on the canister with the two ports on the ally. Press the canister up and into the ally until it clicks and locks into place. Reattach the tubing to the canister by lining up the blue twist and connect end of the tubing to the port on the canister. Push down and twist clockwise to lock into place. Unclamp the tubing and turn the ally back on to resume therapy. If the canister is not full, turn the ally off and then back on to resume therapy. If changing the canister and or turning the ally off and then back on does not resolve the alert, look for occlusions in the tubing or possibly in the dressing. Change the tubing and or dressing as needed to resolve the alert. The canister full alert begins when the canister is 90% full, but the ally continues to work until the canister completely fills. Keep the ally upright. If the ally is placed on its front, fluid entering the canister causes a false canister full alert and the canister must be changed. If there are three beeps and a number three flashes, the battery is low and has approximately 30 minutes before the battery is too low to support continued operation of the ally. The ally must be plugged into a power source to recharge. Use only the AC power adapter that came with the ally. Alerts one through three may be muted for five minutes by pressing the on button while the alert is sounding. The alert condition number will continue to flash in the display even when the audible alert is muted. When a number four flashes and a short beep or chirp is heard, it is time for the ally to be returned to Cardinal Health for service. This alert cannot be muted by pressing the on button. Immediately contact your healthcare provider for replacement. Remember to consult the ally user manuals and quick reference guides for more information. You can get clinical support by calling the Cardinal Health Clinical Support Line or contacting your Cardinal Health sales representative for more information.